Would you like to turn your Amiga OS 3.2 installation from this and into something like this? Has a nice fancy dock, a load of extra programs like Dopus. We've got iGame installed. So are you interested in this? If so, carry on watching. So today we're going to be looking at a project called Best Classic WB. Now it's currently on version 2.04, but it may have further improvements um, after the making of this video. Now you need to go to this website. It's the EAB uh, forums. If you don't know about it already, I highly recommend checking out these forums anyway and making an account because there's some really friendly and great people on here that can really help you out with the Amiga anyway. And this guy, Samplist, has done an awesome job in making this beautiful setup for uh, Workbench 3.2 and it works on 3.2.1 as well. So you need to download this file here, best classic uh, WB, and then it's on Dropbox. So you may have to create a Dropbox account. Not sure, you might be able to download it without, but uh, Dropbox is totally free anyway. So once that's downloaded, I've got that downloaded here uh, in my downloads. Uh, we're gonna go through the setup. So uh, one of the requirements is that you start with a fresh install of Workbench. So um, my workbench, we're using WinUAE, of course, emulation. And uh, I've got a basic uh, A1200 set up here. Um, A1200, but I've souped it up with uh, fast as possible JIT compiler, uh, FPU and stuff, just to speed up things uh, and move things along a little bit faster. I have got the 3.2.1 kickstart rom added uh, and ram i've just given it 128 um, megabytes of fast ram because um why not so next thing we're going to do so i've got my hard drive installation here on dh0 what we're going to do is we're going to add a directory or archive then we're going to select archive or plain file let's go to our downloads there's the best classic wb click on open and then we're going to give this device name of uh, PC0 and then bootable. So we're not we're not bothering to extract the LHA or anything like that. We're just adding it as a hard drive, uh, which you may not have done uh, before. So let's give the Amiga a little bit of a reboot. And there we go. So you can see um, our hard drive file has uh, appeared and this is actually our LHA file. So uh, if we go into there, we've got best classic WB. So go into there, we've got an install file. So BCWB, double click on it. And then it's a nice straightforward installation. This is really nice. Uh, Samplist has done a really good job, as I said already. Uh, do you want to start the installation? Press Y. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And then installation complete. Reboot the Mega and enjoy. Goodbye. So F12, I'm going to get rid of that PCO drive now. We don't need that anymore. And let's press restart. And here we go, here's the installation. And doesn't that look a whole lot better? We've got a nice dock at the bottom. We've got some handy tools like D Opus. It's all configured for us automatically. And there we go, nice and simple. I highly recommend trying this out. Obviously you need a new installation. Uh, it's, that's what's recommended. If you've got a pre-existing setup with sort of like tailor-made stuff, a lot of stuff might get overwritten. So, you know, this is designed for clean installations, but I definitely think you should try checking it out if you're just getting into Amiga OS 3.2. And if you're completely new and haven't even done the install of Amiga OS 3.2 yet, check out this video next. 